The Damongo constituency is one of three constituencies the NDC lost in the Savannah region. The party lost Daboya Mankarigo and Salagan North as well. Though John Mahama won in the presidential election, Adam Mutaokilo lost the parliamentary seat to Abu Jinapo, a deputy chief of staff. The loss of Mutaokilo is one of the heaviest blows to the NDC. He was a ranking member of the Mines and Energy Committee in Parliament. Munta Okilo, before going to Parliament in 2012, served as District Chief Executive for West Gonja under John Evans Atamils. But what accounted for the loss of a man many thought was loved by his people? Some residents of Damango shared their thoughts with me. God is a nice man. It's not like the people hated him. Just that in this election, too much money was used against him. Damango was like Accra. It was like they brought the whole Accra to Damango, which he couldn't cope. But I think the party should have supported him with more resources, which didn't happen. It is public knowledge that uh, since the inception of this particular uh, constituency, boxing in uh, this recent Aboyaman Cargo uh, constituency, no one has ever represented. Uh, this particular uh, constituency more than uh, twice in the House of Parliament. And so if you ask me, I will say this one too has played uh, a major role as far as uh, the uh, parliamentary elections, this passed by parliamentary election is concerned. And so let me also add uh, that uh, Gina Paul's uh, campaign machinery uh, was very aggressive. Uh, they were going door to door irrespective of your political uh, affiliation. And uh, I must also say that this is the very first time we have seen uh, a candidate being aggressive in his campaign. And he uh, was uh, telling his electors that uh, he doesn't care whether you're from NPC or MPP. He's ever ready uh, to champion your cause in the House of Parliament. And so, and uh, largely to uh, we cannot do away with the fact that he was sharing goodies and uh, people were like, oh, uh, some developmental projects are left uh, for uh, government to undertake. And so we feel that uh, apart from government doing these uh, developmental projects and they can still benefit personally or directly from uh, any of the candidates, specifically that of Jinapo, why not? They will go in for him. Jinapo won the election because of the resources and the money that he spent on the election. Um, and then, uh, looking at the election, the people of Damango were not too ready to change their uh, parliamentary candidate if it was the previous uh, candidate that represented MPC. Or if the candidate that was coming to contest the incumbent didn't have the resources that Jinapo had. And so I think the resources was one and two, the Fulani communities. Fulani used, used not to vote in this constituency. But uh, with the coming of Jinapo, he was able to bring down the second lady. The second lady spoke to them and they came all out to vote. And the Fulani has numbers here. Basically, Abu Jinapo won it. First of all, based on the number of resources and the amount of money pumped into the constituency, he realized that he came and met a grassroots who had uh, had a signature in almost every every uh, community in the constituency. So he realized and for their research, uh, before they be able to defeat Galus, they have to pump in more resources. Then one other thing that helped him a lot is about the Damango constituency agriculture uh, program he has been preaching. Um, before the elections, for two, three years, he has been bringing tractors to come and plow free of charge for farmers. And um, he has promised them he will do more and uh, provide farming equipment, uh, farming input, uh, farm inputs, and uh, other products to the farmers in the constituency. So, Adam Mutawakilo will not be in the next parliament representing the people of Damango constituency. But it does appear Abu Jinapo is a worthy replacement. For City News, I am Richard Fogo reporting from Damango.